kind of a hot mess right now. But I figured I would just sit down and do this because I've been wanting to do this for a long time, but something always happens. So I'm just gonna get it done now. And I don't have the really fancy intro or outro right now or like the editing um, because my, my good friend um, Ami or Taylor's um, Getting Through Life, Taylor's Getting Through Life, um, who normally edits them um, and would probably still happily edit them. Um, I would compensate her, not as much as she deserves, but I would compensate her and um, I'm not able to do that anymore and I'll get to that quickly, hopefully. So, welcome to 2019. This is a bad habit, you shouldn't do it, but I'm gonna do it. Um, so, 2019 has been a rough year. For the most part which is why I had to step back from um, this channel um, I kind of needed a mental break and um, things were not good and I didn't want to come on here and pretend that things were good or um, share information that um, I wasn't at liberty to necessarily share so January was a hard month. Um, a few different things happened within the family, um, my immediate and extended family. Um, it was a hard month and that's when I of course decided to step away. Um, I decided to be proactive and I went in and got back on my antidepressants, um, Lexapro. Um, that was a, that was a hard month. I also injured my knee. I, um, Hyper extended it going down some stairs and then a few days later I um, fell on some ice and so I was dealing with quite a bit of pain from that um, February not much happened we had a pretty good Valentine's Day um, March Joseph turned 40 uh, he didn't want to do anything for his birthday but he turned 40 um, April, not much happened, I don't think. Uh, we got out of school. Actually, we got out of school at the beginning of May. So, yeah, nothing really happened in April. Um, May, which brings us to May. Um, as far as school goes, I didn't do very well this term. I made the presence list fall term and this term spring term um, with everything that had happened um, and my mental health uh, after spring break. I was doing great up until spring break. I had A's in my classes um, and then after spring break I just couldn't motivate myself and I didn't have the self-discipline uh, for the online courses to um, continue to go back so um, I haven't looked at my final grades because I'm afraid to but um, I don't imagine that I did I definitely didn't make presence list and Dean's list and probably honor roll and I will likely have to repeat those classes and I'm disappointed in myself for that but there's no excuses um, in February I lost my job um, we lost Joseph's gram grandma in October and I missed some time from that and then I missed some time in January um, and I just I it ended up being too much time missed and they let me go during this time I'm still having the really bad knee pains um, I believe it was March I finally decided to go into my doctor and my primary care doctor ordered some x-rays and saw that I had six different bone spurs and so she referred me to a orthopedic surgeon 
who uh, did an MRI and saw that on top of the bone spurs, I also have cartilage loss and arthritis. And this is in my left knee. And so, um, typically they have you, there's some different surgery options for that. Um, but I have knock knees, which is the opposite of being bow-legged. And, and he just didn't feel like he was experienced enough to, um, to do a surgery regarding knock knees. And the typical surgery for cartilage loss and bone spurs, um, is not going to be productive with the knock knees. So he referred me to a different orthopedic surgeon who gave me a cortisone shot, which failed. Um, I had cortisone flares afterwards. Um, I can get another one, I think, in July. So we're going to try it again and see. But in the meantime, they had me go into physical therapy. Um, and then I was prescribed a anti-inflammatory um, that typically if you're on, if you have like rheumatoid arthritis, you would be on. And, um an NSAID, which I'm not supposed to take due to my kidney disorder and the gastric sleeve surgery, but between the physical therapy and the prescription, I finally have some relief. Um, I can't take the NSAID every day because um, I get kidney pain. Um, so I usually will do two to three days on the anti-inflammatory and typically that coincides with my physical therapy and then I'll do um, like three days off two to three days off so I have some relief with that which is nice I can actually kind of do stuff again um, I was waking up with it being really swollen and it wasn't able to clean my house or do laundry um, or wash and dryers in the basement without incredible amounts of pain. So relief is good. Um, my sister-in-law moved in um, and is working and um, as of today, excuse me, um, our youngest stepson um, came back from Oregon so things are good things are looking up things are slowly getting better um, Joseph and I are starting to house hunt um, we have to go into our bank to see what we qualify for if we qualify for anything but we are starting to house hunt because what we're now just is not big enough for everybody and for our future plans so, um, that's fun and exciting. Um, aside from that, there's really nothing else going on. That's my update. So, it would be nice to get back into vlogging, even though there's not a whole lot going on in my life. There really wasn't a lot going on before either, but, um, especially now, there isn't a whole lot going on. We both are off of school for this summer, and so we'll go back fall term again. I think that starts in August. So, yeah, that's about it. Just wanted to come and update everybody. Um, sorry for the abrupt um, stopping of the vlogs without any explanation. I have been well, um, for the most part. Medication helps. <laughs> Um, my social media, uh, my Twitter and Instagram, I've still been active on, um, just kind of had to step away from YouTube for a bit. So anyways, hope you're all doing well. Bye guys.